All right, so today I'm gonna to start up a new build. And I built hubcap guitars before, and I made a few videos. But this one is gonna be a hubcap bass. And I kinda of have to build it because all the parts are kinda of presenting themselves to me. It started first with this bass neck. This is brand new. Um, a local friend got this sent to him by accident. And then he, he, he does a lot of kit builds. So he gave this to me. Um, and I, I had to fill the holes in, and I still have some filler here, but I filled the holes in with a dowel. Um, and I just put a little filler there. I'm gonna sand that down, but I was also playing with some shapes. I really didn't know what to do um, as far as shapes, but this, I believe, is a Cadillac hubcap. So I was kind of going with that theme, and I would, did this line here and like this. I was thinking of this kind of as an old 50s car uh, rear fin, kind of like um, 57 Chevy or an old Cadillac. So I have this neck that's brand new. You know, there's no holes ever been drilled. Um, I have a few of these pieces of hardwood that I'm gonna cut. It's very sturdy. And this hubcap was added. Um, I bought this at a uh, an estate sale. Got a bunch of these for like two dollars each. And so the local friend, his name is Bob, and I got in the mail um, from someone that I don't know personally in person. But um, this guy's name is Danny, and I'll put a link to his channel. But he didn't know that I had that neck, um, so he didn't know that I would be able to use these right away. But he sent me a whole bag of base parts so I have the tailpiece all the tuners um, even some strings and for the beginning that when I first put this together I will use these used strings just to set it up and if this turns out really good then I'll um, buy some new strings eventually for it so let's get started
So um, I save all kinds of things that I find in the trash for projects like this. And I was looking for something to um, hold this jack um, so that I can put it in a place where, uh, you know, it'll be out of the way. I found this so far, which I might be able to screw on to the back or maybe weld, tack weld it in. But, you know, I'll just look for different kinds of things. I mean, even something like this might work or... There's just all kinds of stuff. This is actually something someone sent to me. Same guy that sent me the uh, base parts. But everything else in here are things that I've found. There's another one of those washers. I think these are from lamps. Um, so I'll continue to look through here, but I think I'll go with this, but I'm not, you know, I'm not sure yet. But it's always good to save when you're doing projects like this, just to find stuff in the trash and just save it if you want to, you know, do this kind of art. Okay, so I want to pause the build and uh, give, an ex give an explanation of what's going on here. Um, as I said, I don't really plan out on paper or, you know, anything like that. Um, I like to just get in with the materials and start building. And when you build that way, you run into some problems that you need to adjust. So if I had planned this out, I probably would never even start it. And that's, I just liked getting in there, working with the stuff. So, I didn't, I just figured base strings, base strings are really long, and I just figured I'd have plenty of room for this tailpiece way back here, and plenty of room for the pickup up here. But I didn't. Um, the strings only had enough room to go to here, and I even looked up extra long strings. They still wouldn't have had enough room to do what I wanted to do. So I moved the hubcap forward. I glued and screwed a block of wood right there. I had to cut the hubcap a little bit. It's very crudely cut, but um, maybe I can doctor that up somehow. Uh, the, I turned this around backwards, and um, right now I just put the strings on temporarily, working with um, trying to find something good for the, the bridge there. And I think this old handle from some type of machine or something um, is a good fit and I think it looks so much better this way than the way I had envisioned it. Um, the other thing that I need to do, well the strings are going to come back off because I'm still working on the neck cleaning it up and oiling it. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time painting this like I normally do, I just did that really quick. Um, but I have a problem where the strings are, they're, they need a hold down. Um, initially I thought maybe keeping with the car theme and using a wrench, but um, I have these little little uh, decorations that I think are from like a kitchen cabinet. I found a box of these. I'm not sure what they were from, but it's a decoration for a handle, I think. But those I think will fit nicely. I actually do need one on this one because this is a little you know, not fitting in there tight either. I need some pressure on that. This one's probably okay. So those are the things I'll work on. And also I put a piezo in there and I need to find a, some sort of washer to go on here. Um, it sounds half decent. I'm, I'm not in love with piezo pickups, but um, well, you'll hear what it sounds like in the end.
Okay, so I recorded that um, little clip, the few clips there, on a polytone amp. Um, it's a very old amp. It's got reverb, reverb. It's got a pretty cool sound. It's solid state. There's no tubes, but it's still, it's kind of like a jazz amp. I know a lot of jazz guys like it. Um, that was given to me, so um, I figured I'd use it. it sounds because I don't have a bass amp, and that was the best, best one that I had to uh, get a good sound with. Um, so I think I kind of showed everything that I did on this, um, and today I just finished it up and I'm open to suggestions because I have a lot of hubcaps and I'm going to be building some more of these, but on the back of the hubcaps, um, where that's like kind of sharp, you know, on your body, um, I just... I was going to use plumbing uh, insulation, like foam that's split and it's sticky. But um, I thought this would slide better. This is just the wire covering. I bought a bag of this at Harbor Freight for a couple dollars um, today. So I put that on and it, you know, it takes care of that issue. Um, I put another piezo disc on this because um, I had just one about this area underneath and I was kind of losing the sound on this, this side, the treble side. So I added another one. Um, I just have the one volume knob, there's no tone, and uh, I think it sounds really good. Uh, I made sure that I, you know, I found the nice bridge piece, which is an old handle, um, and it, I have really good string height, or the, the action. It's really good for a bass. Um, it's actually much better than my uh, Squire bass, but... Um, not that I've I haven't tried to adjust that, but um, yeah, it's got a really good really good sound I think, um, considering it's just a piezo. So you know you have a lot of compromises when you're making a guitar out of a hubcap and some wood. So um, let's see. Oh yeah, well this um, Cadillac emblem, this was on another amp that I've shown before. Um, it was a grill from a Cadillac. Um, I had originally put some kind of play on words like slap deville or something like that on there. Um, it looked really cool. I clear coated it and still looked great. And then all of a sudden, an hour later, the vinyl letters, or you know, they, they looked like vinyl that I bought them in a sheet, um, they started curling up and almost like. Not disintegrating, but shriveling. Um, so I'm kind of glad that happened because I think this looks much better. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the paint, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I've already... It's, I mean, it's big, so I mean, I've already banged it a couple times on the, root, on the uh, ceiling here. Um, this little kind of like scratch plate, or you might call it a... Uh, you know, control cover. This is from a golf bag that I found in the garbage. I've used that a few times, um, that same bag. I cut all the material off of it and threw the rest of the bag away. Um, I have strap buttons on this. It's, you know, everything's, everything's working, everything's functional. Sounds good. Um, all the parts that are gold, they came from a guy named Danny. He sent these to me from Oregon. Um, I believe his channel is called Dan. I don't know how to pronounce it. His name is Danny, but his uh, channel is called Danos Dives. I can put a link in the comments. Um, so he does a lot of like thrifting and you know scrapping and coin collecting stuff like that. Um, and he just sent these to me, 
And it was really good that he did because I happened to have a bass neck from a local guy that puts kit guitars together. He was sent this by accident, so he, he passed it along to me. Um, he gives me a ton of stuff, uh, the local guy, Bob. And um, so that, that stuff, everything was, I had everything here, um, except for the back, the stuff on the back. Uh, the guy Danny, he even sent the uh, used strings, and I, I used them. And, you know, they're bass strings, so they're a lot sturdier than a guitar string, thicker and all that. So they're working well. Um, these string hold downs are, that's, they're working good. Um, it's holding in tune well. Uh, string action, like I said, is good. Um, I don't see any, I can't see any problems that I'm going to have with it. Uh, it's the best, it's the best one that I've made so far. This will be the, I think the fourth hubcap guitar. Um, so I'm also making another one right now. Um, local guitar store has, uh, really helped me out. Our local guitar center helped me out with art and things like that. Um, it's a great place to go, but, uh, I wanted to make them a thank you gift. And this is not going to be as nice as a guitar that they would have there, but this is a display item. Um, so it's Atlantic City themed. That's why I used uh, all these cards that are from Monopoly, because that's Atlantic City themed. There's a map that has Atlantic City on it. And this neck came... So I'm making use of things that aren't really usable. This neck came from this guitar. That, I, If you watch my videos, I just painted this. Um, and the neck was, I didn't know it, I went ahead and painted the guitar, and then when I was going to put the strings on and set it all up, I was trying to adjust the truss rod, couldn't find the wrench to fit it, looked in there with a flashlight, and then I see that there is no nut. The nut had apparently snapped off long ago, and that's why it was, you know, taken apart like it was and stripped. So, I figured I'd get some use out of this. Um, and it's not going to matter. This will be bowed. The neck will, you know, probably be bowed. But this will be set up for slide, light gauge strings, and tuned down to D, open D. So it'll take the tension off of it, but it'll still be like a cool functional guitar. Although probably they'll maybe just hang it in their break room or maybe display it somewhere in the store. I don't know. But I did want to give them a thank you gift for all that they've done. Um, so I don't think I'll be recording this um, as a build, but I will show the completed one on Instagram and I will show, probably show it playing in a little clip on YouTube here. So yeah, um, any questions, you can follow me on Instagram and message me there, or you can uh, put a comment in if you have any suggestions on a better way to do this put it in the comments. Um, other than that, I'm totally happy with this design and um, I don't see any problems with it. However, if something does show up, I'll post what happened to it. But um, I'm definitely going to hold on to this for now. Um, I always say that I'm going to keep these, but you know, after a while, then you get too many, you might sell it. But this one's really nice and I think I might hold on to that. Um, of course, something else comes along and somebody wants to trade or something. Yeah, I'll probably be up to that, but um, I'm happy with that. And uh, thanks for watching and um, have, a, have a great day.